Hey everyone, it's my first time in New York City and I am getting the Go Explore New York City Pass. I'm doing the five attraction pass. So let's see uh, if we can save some money by getting the pass and uh, have a lot of fun while we're here. I am on the way to meet the LCA family and uh, we're gonna have a little picnic in a park and look what I found along the way. Had to stop by the Brooklyn Bridge and uh, get some pictures and selfies and everything. So head over to my Instagram and you'll see uh, some pictures from this trip. Walking the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, I'm here with my friend Mark from LCA. What's up? <laughs> we are going to go to the 9-11 Memorial. That's going to be the first stop on the City Go Pass in my New York series. what I believe is the North Pool, which is where the, the North Tower was. So we just came out of uh, the inner part of the museum, which they would not allow any kind of videography or photography. And I'll tell you, the, the artifacts, that this museum uh, really hit me harder than any museum ever has. There was one part where a husband was leaving his wife some voice messages, and his last voice message was one minute before the second tower was hit, which is the tower he was in saying the tower was secure. Um, I think that part hit me the most, but this whole thing is uh, very well done. Uh, you gotta check this out. Got our tickets, now we have to go through security, uh, I guess up towards the top, or the top of the rock. Sixty-nine floors above New York City. This is what it looks like. Y'all, the top of the rock is awesome, so you gotta check this out when you get here. Um, come up to think floor 68, then you walk up the steps to 69, and you walk up some more steps to 70, and it's just amazing being able to see the views up here. Central Park, uh, you can see everything from up here it's great having dinner in uh the chelsea markets we went to uh los tacos numero uno i got a chicken quesadilla a cactus taco which i tried to get in vegas but they were out of i don't know if i'm gonna like it and then i got the uh the uh, pork taco so it should be delicious 
All right, we're trying this cactus taco first. Not bad. Got a little bit of kick to it, but that's not bad at all. So when you eat at this taco place, cactus was good, the chicken was good, but the El Pastor was a step above. That's the way to go, El Pastor tacos. Some of the things I was looking to do for the Go Pass are closed, even though the website doesn't say that they're closed. So um, now I know New York is opening back up here in a couple weeks. So by the time you see this video, everything should be open again. But we are going to do another observation deck of the uh, famous Empire State Building. Something I didn't know was that you have to get a reservation to go up in the uh, Empire State Building. Now, you have to do that online. Even with the GOAT Pass, you still have to have that. So, um, did that by email. Thank goodness they weren't out of reservations, so it was fairly quick and we'll be able to get up there. This is a very long queue on the inside of it. It's got a lot of stuff to look at, but I am thankful that uh, I think we go straight up because there's nobody here. I even got in the elevator by myself. Look, and you get to see it go. Keep your arms up. Check out this view right out the elevator. Right over, that's Hudson Yard, straight ahead. I was by myself in an elevator, now going from the 80th floor to the 86th floor. I think this is as high as I get to go today. With we are at the 86th floor of the Empire State Building. This is cool. Uh, they even have heaters to uh, to keep you warm up here. I walked out and I was like, wow, it's hot up here. Enjoy the view. And of course, like most attractions, you end up in the official store. So this was definitely a good experience, but what I recommend is actually the top of the rock, a little bit better than uh, the Empire State Building, because you get the Empire State Building in your pictures in view. Uh, the only reason that I did both of these with the Go Pass is because other, th other things are closed. Here we are in Chinatown, Manhattan. So we're going to take a look around here and see what we can find. My first stop today is another Go Pass uh, place. I am renting a bike and we are going to bike through Central Park. All right, the rental process was very easy, so here we are, off to Central Park. Exploring Central Park's been really cool. You start to realize, oh my gosh, this movie's filmed here, and that movie's filmed here. Like the uh, the, the, the bridge where uh, Kevin meets the pigeon lady on uh, Home Alone 2. It's really cool to see all of these uh, places. There's a bike trail. You actually have to get off your bike and walk your bike on the, the rest of the paths, which is, looks like what I'm gonna have to do a lot of. But uh, that's okay, it's gonna be a fun time.
in New York would be complete without visiting the famous Times Square. When I was just here in Times Square, it just started uh, sprinkling a little bit. We we're scheduled to get some rain today, so um, I might head out to St. Patrick's Cathedral, I believe it is, up by uh, uh, Rockefeller Center. <clears throat> Just a short 15 minute walk from uh, Times Square. Right here is the uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, which on the outside looks extravagant. And that's what drew me to want to go in. So we're gonna go in and check it out. And I don't think that they're gonna allow me to uh, talk to you guys, so it'll just be some video. This is, uh, Attraction number three on the go pass. They were not riding tours at uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, so I still have uh, a go pass attraction to do. On my way to meet a friend, I had to stop by the cake bosses, Carlos's Bakery. You gotta get a cannoli. So we are headed to Staten Island. Everybody say hello to Marcus. He's a friend of mine. I haven't seen each other in like seven or eight years. And uh, he's gonna take me and show me around. Uh, should be fun. We are on the ferry to Staten Island. Just take a, this look of uh, Manhattan. And then uh, right over here we got Brooklyn. And then you come over here and you got Jersey City. We're going to see Statue of Liberty here very soon. We made it to Staten Island and uh, let me show you the view of New York City from over here. It's a lot quieter already since we've gotten off the boat. Much quieter than in New York. <laughs> very different. We finished up Staten Island, so uh, where are we going now, Marcus? We're crossing over to Jersey City. Jersey City. All right. We gonna have some good food? Oh, sure, sure, sure. All right. I'm trusting him with us. He's a good cook, so he knows what good food is. Indeed. Here we are. Jersey City. All right. Well, before we show you the New York skyline, let's show you the New Jersey skyline. <laughs> and the New York City skyline. Yes, we are walking to the end and we are getting pictures. Mm -hmm. 
buddies, JC. Brunch, Brunch Burger, Burger Bar. Bar. Are you ready for this? I got the shorty burger. Check this out. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I agree, it's delicious. I bought the City Go Pass for $125. We went to the 9 11 Memorial Museum, Top of the Rock, Empire State Building, and rented a Central Park bike for the day. Total spent was $125. Total attraction cost, had I purchased everything individually, would have been $160. One attraction went unused because I didn't have time to use it, so I saved $35. The GoPass is the way to go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for future videos.